crazy. So we're looking out the window to see where our poopoos are to bring them to good night because it's getting dark. Uh, we leave them a bit later because they do not want to go in once it's uh, bright because they just want to be outside. So it's hard to get them in. So I was looking around where they are out the window and I saw it's just a giant red stump here and it's like the tree has fallen down. It took me like a second to realize it has fallen down. Luckily it didn't fall on anyone. We should have gotten rid of it a long time ago because I knew it was not in a good condition. But I thought, you know, let the nature make it fall. We're not walking a lot here or making it like, you know, moving it around. We'll clean this up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Time. Well, now nothing worse can happen. Yeah. Okay. It's down. Okay. Good night, Pepe. Where are you? You're waiting at our window. So it's the next day, we want to clean this up and cut it and get it away from here. I think one of the reasons why it fell down maybe was because there was rats living in there. It was of course rotten, that was kind of a part of reason. But I think what really made it fall down is the rats. I think they ate out or at least like made it more rotten in some ways, I don't know. It was just a lot of rat feces in there, so probably they sped up the process of this thing falling. Because it was really strong, we were you know, using it for our... Uh, thing is and it was really strong wood, so I don't know what happened in the winter, but let's cut it all in pieces and get it away from here Yeah
finished cleaning up the tree and we are at the goat house. We want to clean it up because their gates are not closing very well and we just don't want them escaping. So we want to have the bottom hooks closed. So we are going to clean it up a bit and add some more hooks. We still have them inside. You're wondering why we're not keeping them outside because, well, they want to go inside in the night and having like no gates here would just be a chaos like you know n none of the babies know where their moms are yeah and so, Lima you know yeah. she's a boss and she is just bullying everyone so yeah. it's not safe for anyone it's except for her. better to be separated like everyone to be have their own space rather than them finding it out on their own because I think that's just gonna be Lima can go around and bully yeah, whoever she's gonna, she wants yeah she's gonna bully around okay so, because we had already tricks escaping that's why we want to fix it up so yeah. let's do that fast. let's clean it up and add some hooks yep The goats are all good, it's all secured now, and it's much more cleaned up now. Now we can close the gates perfectly, there's no problem at all. Let's move over to our chickens. This white chicken is supporting the part of the crew. <laughs> So our chickens are doing really well, except that the, all three of the older ones are bullying them. I don't know, I think it's probably just dominance that they need to show it. And the, our rooster doesn't see them as wives yet, because they're not old enough. They're still too young. They're really fighting off for the food, Jesus. It's like maybe they're just, for everyone. Yeah, maybe they're just fighting for the food. But as you can yeah. see, they're outside. <laughs> That's the whole point. Yeah, and um. they get all the food out of the pond. I mean, it's not the best food tray for chickens, because yes. they keep rolling, but we have kept it since, like, you know, start. Day one. So we have it for two years, more than two years now, and it's a fun bowl for chickens because they yes, I like it. roll around. We do want to build them some like ladders, and you have suggested a lot of things that we want to build them, and of course that's not their uh, always house, they're going to get a better house, yeah. but for now, what's happening? Mean. Cookie, stop it. He has a sharp nose as well, the other chickens have a Cut soft nose. nose. He has a sharp one. It's so much food and you have to fight for it. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. I hope you enjoyed all this kinds of all kinds of different jobs and we're gonna see you next time. Yeah, that's kind of a day in our life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you next time, chickenies. There they come. They're getting better and better at it. Stop biting them. Oh. They don't wanna leave far away though. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
you would know how to stress a car noise like all this.